follow DJ Kawan on Instagram at Kawan J. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was the homie Will Will Sully. I was gonna say Will Gats. We were just talking about him. What up, Will? Will Sully in the building. The name of that joint is called Young Rebels, featuring the legendary tragedy Gaddafi. We'll get into all of that. And checking in, man. This is my bro, man. Queens, New York is in the building, man. I love, I love talking to my fellow Queens heads. This brother been doing it for a minute since I've been put on to him by MJ Savino out there at MJ's Hip Hop Connects. Uh, just released what we I call the Bass Series, and we'll get into that. And um, he's checking in here on the Mixtape Show live, man. Will Sully, what's good, my brother? How you, man? What's up, what's up, family? I'm all right. I'm, I'm good, man. Shout to MJ. Yo, shout to you too, man. Mixtape Show doing big numbers. Yeah, man, doing it, brother. And I got I to gotta pu- publicly do this, man, and apologize. I was out in New York uh, out in November and um, was running around and stuff, and I did try to connect with you. And we had the time and space and everything. And, you know, family caught up with me, and they, they shut that shit down quick. Yeah. <laughs> so, nah. so I got to. <laughs> nah, I know how that is. No <laughs> so, problem, no problem. So I got I to publicly do that, together. bro. Yeah, I got to do that, man, because I, I know time is valuable out here, man, and I didn't want to waste your time. So I, I definitely apologize for that, brother. We're going to definitely make up for that, all right? Nah, that was cool, though. though. I, I understand, man. I know how family is. Yeah, man. I, next time, I just know I can't go through there. I can't go through Rockaway. Just keep going. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> <Bags. laughs> Dope, man. Will, Will Sully, man. I was, I was just talking, man. We was talking off air a little bit. We figured it out. Um, you dropped these fast few projects in the last year. I called it the base series after you dropped the first little joint, and then I saw what you was kind of direction you was going, and you confirmed that when you dropped the very last one, the Christmas version of it. Um, let's talk about yeah. that, man. The, the base series, man. What what does the base series consist of? Well, now, no shout to you because you're the first. You're the first person to, to catch it. Mm-hmm. I never said it. Mm-hmm. That's what the intention was from day one, but um, you caught it first, um, and that's what it is. It, it, it is a base series. So um, I started out with the Free Bass um, album. That's the um, project that had Tragedy Gaddafi and uh, Ali Vegas, mm-hmm. my man Legion, Bottom Line. And then we went into uh, uh, Bass Ain't Free. Mm-hmm. So, um, you know, I just wanted to give the people something to, um, to identify with. Like, all right, this, this is what I'm doing. This is the wave I'm on. And it just felt natural. So I stayed on it. Mm-hmm. Uh, initially, we was going to only do each project was only going to be three songs the way the Christmas one was. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But, um, you know, now I say, you know, I'm not going to, it doesn't matter. It's just the number doesn't matter. It's just how, how does it sound yeah. together, you yeah. know, collectively. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you definitely kept it New York hip hop. You know what I'm saying? You definitely kept it to me, Queens hip hop. Uh, the joints had that, had that, that mix between the New Jack City and 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 uh, Goodfellas feel to it, you know what I'm saying? With the skits, and yeah. just the, the the sonic sounds of certain tracks and stuff like that, man. Was that part of it too? You kind of wanted to marry the two with the, like I said, New Jack City, Godfather, Goodfellas kind of thing to it. Yeah, definitely because it was the way I had envisioned it was, um, you know, I'm before we get to the industry, I have to be become this figure in my surroundings mm-hmm. and then you know like working with with guys like tragedy Gaddafi, um ali vegas the queens natives it was like all right these guys are gonna bring me into the the, the, the family the mm-hmm. organization for mm-hmm. queens mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so then i just took it from there like all right let's keep it you know let's keep it that way yeah yeah, so that's that's definitely dope, man. Because those are those are a lot of definitely. I'm I'm always been a being from Queens. I've always had that that bias with with Queens MCs and stuff like that. So, um, you know, just listen to your music. You can't help it. You can't help it, man. You, you definitely can't, can't help, help it. it. And they just kind of we, we not try. You know, we don't try. It's yeah. just. That's it's Queens. Yeah, yeah. Just like Brooklyn, they feel a certain way when they got their young eyes out there in Bronx and all that. It's just when, yeah. when you got Queens and you know <laughs> what I'm saying, we it's just a bias <laughs> I got, bro. And, it, and it's dope to see the the tradition you picking up the mantle and carrying that on and coming into your own. You know what I'm saying? And 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 I appreciate that. With, and with those names kind of giving you the cosign, it's dope to see. Especially, I know Ali Vegas just dropped a project a while ago, and I, that that you know did Facts. very well. Um, tragedy always doing his thing, you know what I'm saying? And I know you got connections with Mike Geronimo and stuff like that. So it's just dope to see yeah, you. Yeah, shout to Mike. It's, yeah. just, it's just dope to see you kind of carrying that Queens tradition, and it makes me still feel proud to be from Queens. And, and, and 
I can hold you up and say this is one of the cats I rocks with out of, out of the borough. You know what I'm saying? No, salute to you, bro. I appreciate that. Definitely, definitely, man. So um, I, I didn't notice too, man. I, I played it earlier in the show, and, and and it dawned on me too, man. You was you got a little quick little quick little feature on that Snow Goons joint too. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The um on the '90s, the '90s are back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and they do they did the cartoon. The cartoon on video for that yeah. shit came out dope. How, how's that feel, man? When you when you look up and see that, you see that your name is next to the the Chill Ali, Royal Flush, you know what I'm saying? Nocturnal, Sadat X, Fredro Star, Another Queens, DV Alias, Crisis, yeah. Ali Vegas, of course, and you, man. That's that's not bad for the resume. Nah, that's a dream, man. A dream come true. That's incredible. <laughs> I didn't even, I didn't know, I didn't know that all of them was gonna be on it. Mm. I just thought. Thought it was um Fredro. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I didn't know it was gonna be Ch when I see Chiali and Sadat X. I'm like, oh, psh, that's crazy. <laughs> Nocturnal, DVL is Christ. I'm, I'm a I'm a DVL is Christ fan too. Mm -hmm. So we came up off of him, you know for his music. So that's just dope. Yeah, man. That's and then you know they're they hip hop purists. The Snow goons, they 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 get busy. Mm -hmm. And of course Fredro Star. Mm -hmm. So yeah, yeah, that was dope. Uh, yeah, I, 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 and then they, they got the cartoon right. They the, the dude that did the animation, <laughs> yo, Ali Vegas. My man, my man Vegas is laughing at me. He's like, yo, look, he got your hand movements. He did the hand movements. So we start laughing like, oh shit. <laughs> so 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 talk about this year you've had, man. I know I know COVID's been out there, but that seemed like that didn't slow you down too much, man. Just just when you sit back and kind of reflect a little bit man 2021 man was a big year for you personally and professionally right yeah yeah um you know the since 2020 actually um it's been it's been it's, it's been good for the most part mm -hmm. but um the 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 covid part where you can't perform and you can't get out there and mingle mm -hmm. it, it kind of hurt mm -hmm. but i'm a producer also so where it helps, it gives me an advantage that I'm in a, I'm in the, my own spot, so I could do the music and just dish it out. Yeah. So I just focused on that and said, you know what? Let me just let me work hard, put the music out, and you know, don't slow up because the world slowed up. Just keep doing you. This is a digital age now, anyway. Yeah. Yeah. So <clears throat> just things started to fall in place. Yeah. Yeah. And um. Yeah. It's the it's the consistency. Just dropping the music, man. I didn't I didn't stop. Yeah, yeah, and and production wise, how much? What percentage did you produce all all of the projects put together? How many? How, what's the percentage you put on that that you produce? I produced all of Bass Ain't Free. I produced all the Nightmare Before Basements, and I produced eighty five percent of Free Bass. Free Bass, all right, dope, 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 man. So, yeah, the only the only joints on on Free Bass, I didn't do um I didn't do the the Tragedy Gaddafi one. Legion did that, and Legion did um he did um. He did another crew joint on there, um, the, the J the J sample, mm -hmm. and it's another one, um, pieces. So he did three joints on uh, on on free bass. I did seven. All right. Then the rest of them, I did all of them. Dope, dope, dope. And you and Legion, y'all are kind of like a dynamic duo when it comes to production, anyway, right? That's it. Yeah. Yeah, that's my partner. Yeah, my yeah. partner and my cousin too. So he he been since day one. He actually he's the one that. He brought me to the studio in high school. Okay. He's the one, the first person to bring me to record. So that's my, that's that's Cuz right there. Yeah, dope. Man. So we work together all the time. Yeah, dope, dope, man. It's, yeah, you, you definitely, man. It's like I said, brother. It's definitely always dope to hear your music when you come out with new material and features and all of that. So I already know this is gonna be a big year. You know, what I'm saying now the Snow Goons thing Appreciate is definitely. It. I think that Snow Goons thing is really gonna push a lot over the top career wise for you overseas. You know, what I'm saying because. I got another partner out in West Virginia who was on that project too, and he didn't even like you. He didn't even know they was gonna be on it because they did like a a cipher joint, and um, they the, I guess Snow Goons produced the cipher beat, and they ended up just putting the whole joint on their album. So he was on there, and he was shocked too. So it's kind of it's just dope when you get that cosign, man. These days, and it's dope to see my people that I know personally that that's doing their thing, man. So I congratulate you on that, my brother. Yeah, thank you, bro. <laughs> Appreciate it. So, so what else we got going on this year, man? You, you killing with the bass series? You pushing that? You pushing the project? So, what, what else you want to do this year, man? Oh, well, I, I had a first my my first show for the year, January. Shout to MJ. Oh yeah, how'd that um, go? How'd that go? I saw I did, that. How'd that go? It, it went real good, and, and Rocky and, and Gaston. It went. It, it was a dope night. Um, I never been at the New York Regan, so we went up there. We did it. It went well. So that's starting. You starting the year off 
with a bang because I haven't performed since before COVID. Mm. I couldn't do no shows. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. everything was yeah. was a done deal. Yeah. So now finally that part of the business is is looking better for me now. And then I'm just gonna repeat the same steps. It's gonna be more more projects, um more material, yeah. more videos. Yeah, yeah. How, how did it feel to um get that energy from the crowd again? How, how does that feel? Because I know a lot of people, I, like me, I haven't, I haven't DJed in a minute either out there because everything's like you said shut down or the crowds ain't as big as they used to be. So it, it doesn't financially make sense for me to go out and DJ right now. But how did that feel to get that energy from the crowd and and and, and feel them when they feel your music or they see you know you you spin the bar and they like ooh you know what I'm saying how does that feel? It's, it's priceless man it, it gave me more motivation like it just gave because then you know you 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 get responses online mm -hmm. but responses in person is is it's is a different you could see the energy you could see when somebody's genuine mm -hmm. you know a response on on a post you know every anybody could put up a strong arm and some fire emojis <laughs> but when somebody see you and be like yo you know like a, a couple of times matter of fact we did perform we did a show in um in um, the Meth Lab in Staten Island, okay. Meth Studio, yeah, right? Shout, shout out to them. And <clears throat> shout to Meth, shout to um, the whole bottom line and Neo, Nino. The dude, one of the dudes stopped me and was like, "Yo, son, I seen, I seen, I seen that song on Instagram. That I seen that video from. So the same thing happened at the New York Rican. Somebody said, "Yo, I seen that," and you know they're not lying and they're giving you props yo yo i like what i like your music mm -hmm. this this is that so it just said all right you know what you know it ain't all lost we could just you know it's gonna it's gonna get better mm -hmm. we get the opportunity mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. definitely definitely man so production wise and you don't have to say names or anything like that because i know how that goes you you working on any projects outside of your music with some production right now um only just um besides myself my my cousin, partner, Legion, mm -hmm. um, Ali Vegas, he working on new material. We doing some things together, and that's pretty much it. Cause I'm, I'm too busy. Yeah. <laughs> like I, I don't. It's cause it's not easy to, it's not easy to, to, to be consistent with your own projects. Cause yeah. yeah, that shit. I mean, I could. It's beats, but making a record is two different things. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. 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 And and, and your process is. When you work with other artists, do you have to kind of be there with them to kind of bounce ideas off each other? You just not sending them beats and say, "Do what you got to do" and send it back. Um, for the most part, I'm I'm not there. I mean, I might. I like to. I like. I would like them to record record with me. Excuse mm -hmm. me if um if that's possible. Mm -hmm. Um, but nowadays that's kind of yeah, that's kind of you know up in the air now too. But um, I always I if you get a joint for, a track from me then we have some kind of connection. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I'll try to put my little input into it. But if not, you know, it's all good. I'll let them do them. Yeah, I hear that, man. I hear that. What, um, as far as, back to the live performance piece, because um, a lot of artists, you know, it's a lot of artists out there who never performed before, period. You know, they may have a lot of workout, but they don't really perform. It's, 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 to me, I would see performance as a, a key piece to test market in certain tracks too, right? You know what I'm saying? Like you may have Definitely. A, you may have a single that's already out, but you're like, damn, what am I gonna put out next? Let me do this show and I can test a couple of joints and see how the crowd reacts. And now that'll kinda give me a better idea. Um speak on that real quick. Like you said earlier, you know, things is kind of social media driven now. So how do you kinda what helps you kind of process, you know, what what's what my next step should be for the people to listen to? Um you know, this um within the last couple of years even during the COVID thing, I always been this. I've always been the same, the same artist, right? Mm -hmm. Like my core has been the same. I never changed cores, but I picked up traction. I, I see where they, the people will choose the path for you mm -hmm. most of the time. Mm -hmm. They'll tell you what what they like, what you do best mm -hmm. most of the time. Mm -hmm. So um, I figured it out, and the base series is kind of what is a result of that mm -hmm. but you know it really took on a life of, of its own so the first time we got a chance to perform the records from the base series was now mm -hmm. and then the way that people respond to it you know it, it's right it makes sense yeah. that's where you need to stay yeah. for me that's what i learned like all right all right so online they said it and then in, in person 
the people vibe with this this sound. So you know, for me, it just told me, yo, stay, I, right, you, you, you where you need to be. Just keep, yeah, stay here, work on this. Yeah, I, I feel that, brother. I'm, I'm the same way, man. I know. For years, I, I struggled on how I wanted to do this show independent wise because I knew I was going to do it uh, be an indie platform, but. <clears throat> as a dj i wanted to kind of be fair to everybody and then i started realizing after a while certain shit i just don't like playing <laughs> you know what i'm saying right and, you right, know and, and, right. and it's no shade on them i just knew what i grew up on you know what i'm saying so i felt more comfortable in that lane so once i figured that out like you said brother it's the people decide for you you know what i'm saying where you'll start getting more people tuned into than you think you know what i mean like i, I was i've been shocked for who's been listening to, to the show and the station just based off of basically it's my playlist it's my personal playlist i just play live on there that's how i look at it so when you stay in that lane it's so yeah. dope it's dope to stay in that lane and just do what you do best you know what i'm saying right it's, and it's natural mm -hmm. like that I'm, I, technology is on our side now like mm -hmm. we we got our own style so you know the way you want to do your show now technology allows you to do that like now remember before it was almost impossible you had to work with so many people it cost mm -hmm. so much money mm -hmm. you know now it's the same thing for for me as an artist mm -hmm. i at, at one time the mixtape era and the rate like remember when yo you had that you had to pitch your songs to people and it had to be a radio record and mm -hmm. all this mm -hmm. nonsense <laughs> now it's like what no i don't need that yeah. and the people the, you know what the people never wanted that it was just the format that the industry wanted you to go through. Yeah, yeah. So it's, now you know. Now it's just it's our. This is our time now. Yeah, yeah. The 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 meet the the commercial way is archaic and old old school thinking. You know what I'm saying? And oh so, yeah. <clears throat> how we do things is like you said. It's a little bit different. We do how we want to do it. So me and you both can make decisions in real time and make it happen. You know what I'm saying? And and ain't got to worry about the marketing department approving that and all that other kind of stuff man right um, imagine that it, i would quit it'd be over i'm like no nah, i ain't doing it no more exactly i'm not Can't playing that it. shit yeah i'm not playing that i don't care how much money they pay for that <laughs> yeah did you speaking of that did you see did you hear the um the red alert interview on drink champs yeah 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 absolutely, absolutely. oh yeah yeah and he touched he touched on that too about the you know the payola part you know yeah. he didn't care how much money it was you know i'm not gonna give up my integrity yeah if I don't like it, I don't like it. Exactly, exactly. At the end of the day, they're they gonna respect. Yeah, they're gonna respect you one way or another. You know what I'm saying? Like, right, right. And, and I'm not on that level, but I know on the small level, I've had people hit me up like, "Hey, how much does it cost to spin a record?" And I'm like, "Well, I don't, I don't charge to play your music. That's a, that's illegal." And B, if it's dope, I'm gonna play it regardless. You know what I'm saying? Now we have promotional packages. Like, if you want to do write ups and all that other stuff, we can, you can do that, but. I don't do the, you'll never see a cash app next to my name or you'll never see jump the line it to get this so music crazy, played. Right? Yeah, yeah, jump the line if you want to pay me $25 to jump the line to get your record played. Nah, I don't, I don't do that, man. I just play what's dope, you know what I'm saying? So, um, dope, yeah. brother. So, I, 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 Ali Vegas, man, he's, he's, he definitely, um, I know when you, when you started working with him a while ago, when it was, it was on my radar, it was, it was really, really dope. I saw you guys too did some work. You got to be up there at um, Sirius XM with, with uh, Premiere. DJ Premier. Oh man, yeah. How yeah, how was that, man? Because yeah. that's the, I would love to be a fly to room for one of those shows that he that he does, man. How how was that, that experience was, for you? That was incredible. You know, um, Primo was one of those guys that um, I'm I'm a huge Gangstar fan. Like I, as a kid, like I, I remember buying when I first started DJing. I bought you know we bought singles, we mm -hmm. bought the vinyls, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and uh, I remember I bought Step to Step to the Arena, mm -hmm. and I played that record. I can't even tell you how many times I played played the record, but mm -hmm. I was always a, a Gangstar fan. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, as time goes along, Primo becomes, you know, an icon. So does Gangstar, but Primo, you know, he works with everybody. Yeah. So my point is, he's he's everything that I thought he would be. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It, it, it wasn't like, you know how you get disappointed, you meet somebody like, oh man, he was just the great guy. Still hip hop head. Yeah. Like, still scratching i yeah. couldn't believe it like yo he's still djs yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know still listening to new artists yeah still playing underground shit yeah it was dope yeah yeah that's dope. that's who i model a lot of my shows modeled after his, his show man after i heard that i was like this is what i need i need something like that and that's when i kind of 
started getting in my lane because I was like, that's dope. You know what I'm saying? That that feeling must, just must be dope to play whatever you want. You know what I'm saying? And and he seems like he's very, because I know a lot of artists who, who he's played their music. And it, it just literally just seems like he just dig through emails and just says, oh, I like this shit. I'm going to play it. You know what I'm saying? And that's that's dope. That's yes. dope, man. Yeah, I that's seen dope. it with my, I seen it. <laughs> I seen him going through emails yeah. and him actually complaining sometimes about, um, how how they were send how the artists he said oh man I hate when this happens and he was referring to the artists will send the MP3 but they don't label they didn't they didn't they don't label it right mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and that's when I was like oh but MJ MJ would say that too like make sure you label the um MP3s and I was like oh all right I yeah, know what you mean that's yeah. when I said oh I, oh that's what she's talking about yeah yeah I oh, get it yeah, now yeah oh man I gotta I wish I could show it on screen I gotta file just full of track names or <laughs> it'll say you know master one or something like that or master six yeah, and i'm like i don't yeah, even know what this is yeah. bro and i'm like i'm not going to take the time to go back to all those emails and find this track right <laughs> you know what i'm saying right, so, right, right, so right. artists if you're out there listening man we need the artist name and the name of the track that's called metadata and that also you know will in case you i don't know if you know this but on the back end on the radio side when i upload tracks like yours to the station if your metadata is in there correctly and I don't have to put that in there. That's how you get paid off your royalties. If it's if it's how you register your track, matches up with that MP3 file. When that when that record gets played at the end of the month, we we automatically send a report out so we can pay our royalties and stuff like that. It has to match up apples to apples. So say if for instance, um, uh, the joint I just played, the the Young Rebels joint. So if it's Will Sully featuring Tragedy Gaddafi, Young Rebels, if that's how you put it in there. When it plays, you're gonna get that credit for it. You know what I'm saying? So that's oh, that's, wow. that's real important, especially when DJs are playing your records like that. Um, you gotta have that that match up to how you have it registered when you register your music on the back end, so you can get your royalties and get that mailbox money. So that's I, I stress that all the time, oh, the artists wow. and all that kind of stuff. I'm like, you gotta you gotta have it match up to how you have it registered because like those bots are listening to our stations 24 seven. And we we run reports. And at the end of the month, I get a report automatically, and it plays every song that's been played within that month and how many times it got played. And sometimes they'll say like unknown artists in the name of the song, and I was like, I can't do nothing for you on that one. <laughs> wow. Okay. Well, no, nah, I appreciate that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No problem. I didn't know. I I didn't know it was that. Um. Yeah. It had to be that specific. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you got to have whatever, however you register it, whatever you register it as when you register it, just make sure your MP3 file says that too. So, like I said, when some of these platforms who pay out royalties, you know, that's a question to ask too. Do you pay out your royalties every month? And they'll, they'll be able to tell you if they can, if they don't. We do. And um, once, it, once it gets that spin, you'll get that credit for it. So whenever you get that, you know, BMI ASCAP check every quarter or whatever, you, you get that credit uh, caught up and all that stuff. So, so a little, little, little lesson for the no artists doubt, out bro. there. Definitely a little lesson out there for some yeah, of the artists. Yeah, I appreciate that. Uh, no problem, man. No problem, man. So what, what else you got going on, man? What's, what's some of the goals you want to knock out this year? Um, Just drop. I want to drop more projects, man. I just just stay busy, just working. Mm -hmm. I want, I want, I need more shows. Mm -hmm. But that goes with the territory, you know, depending on what's going to go on mm -hmm. out here. Mm -hmm. But, um. I'm just trying to just be consistent, more consistent than, I, than, than I've ever been <laughs> with this, the quality also. Do you feel like that last year was the most consistent you've been overall so far? Yeah, but definitely, definitely. Like I, I put out, I think, um, three projects, um, yeah, since um, March. So like March, um, March, Halloween, and then December. December. Nice. So, yeah, you know, it was, um, Usually I wouldn't do that. I would, I would, I, sh I sh used to shoot a lot of videos. Mm -hmm. Um, so for Freebase, I shot like four videos for Freebase, but I took a break from that, from shooting. And then I'd say, yo, let me just stay in the studio, stay in the studio. Let me just drop this music. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, I'm going to do the same thing for, for 2022. Yeah. Yeah, it sounds, it sounds like you, over. yeah, it sounds like you got the formula down pack, man. So I, I know it's gonna probably be even more more consistent, more crisp. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah. Who, who who haven't you worked with, man? What's one of your dreams that you want to work with? Well, let's let's stay in Queens, man. Who who in Queens outside of Nas? Who who would you want to work with? Because that's my dream interview. I want oh. I want to get I got to get Nas for an interview at some point, man. That's my that's my my goal. Yeah, that's the yeah. He's the like he's the he's the alpha. He's the top. Mm -hmm. Um. <clears throat> 50, mm -hmm. um, Banks, uh, 
Mr. Cheeks is, a, is one um, Havoc. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, who else? I'm 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 gonna throw Alchemist in there as um because he's like kind of associated yeah. the Queens associate. He's like honorary, so, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> um, who else? Hmm. Oh, um, Mega. Yeah. Call Mega. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I hear that new project is sounding good too. From what I'm hearing, that he's about to drop. Yeah, he's taking it. He's taking his time with that shit too. Mm-hmm. I, th- I think I saw on social yeah. media that he confirmed Nas is going to be on that joint too. So I, I, I know that's going to be. Yeah, dope. he said it. Yeah, he said it on IG. Yeah, dope man, dope brother, dope man. So social media, man. What's what's the best way we can follow Will Sully and the rest of the team? Um, check me out on IG, Instagram at Will Sully Beats. One word. Same thing on Twitter, YouTube, even TikTok. You Will go. Sully Beats. How you like TikTok? How's that working out for you? Well, you, you you do visual, so it's a little bit easier for you to move around with TikTok, right? Yeah, TikTok is cool, but you know what it is? Um, My, my go-to is Instagram. So mm. I go to Instagram, then I feel like I'm doing something, and I forget I ain't about to put it on TikTok. Yeah. So, <laughs> you know, TikTok is... But I, I'm hearing that TikTok is um a lot more, I guess, friendlier for artists and mm-hmm. things like that anyway. Yeah, yeah. I, I've so, discovered I discovered over the past few weeks with using the, the social media is uh putting putting your guys' music on a lot of the promo. You know what I'm saying? It helps it gets a lot more attention than everybody playing a Jay Z record or something like that. Cause I have people hit me up like, yo, who's that? Who's that? So I think that's uh something I'm gonna keep doing is kinda using the indie artists. Cause I know once your music is registered, I can find you guys on Facebook and all that stuff as far as your music. So good good tool to have. So definitely dope man well man you already know brother this is definitely home to you you know what i'm saying um i do plan on coming back up there sometime soon just got to figure out when things kind of cool off with this covid shit um when i'm gonna be back out there and um we'll, we'll get together and do something man yeah. like i said we can um if you want to get the team together we i'll come out to the studio or something and set up and we can do that and just kind of you know kinda, that'll be dope kind of get with everybody that'll be man. Dope. so we definitely gonna make up for that that time man Any, anybody you want to shout out before we get out here yeah, I want to just shout out, you know, the whole whole catacomb. Shout the Legion, shout the Bottom Line, and Nino Q Thorough. Shout the Bars of Hoops Radio, my, my bro Stills. Shout to my bro Ali Vegas. You know the whole members thing, A to the Dash. My bro, my bro Big East. You know, and um everybody out there supporting. Shout the big shout to MJ for holding me down on Main of Medicine. You know, and shout to you, bro. Definitely. Next tape show. This is um. This is what we're talking about. We need more of these, you know. Definitely. We're going to take over. Definitely. It's gonna, like I told you off air, man, all I got to do is get in the door so I can bring everybody with me. You know what I'm saying? Change the narrative a little bit. That's my goal. So the more I do this this way, you know what I'm saying, play play, play within their game, but do it my way. And it, it seems like it's starting to work out a little bit more. So I definitely appreciate artists like you. You know, keep spreading the word about us, man, and let them know what we do. And, and we'll. it's always a platform for you guys. You know what I'm saying? Definitely, bro. Dope, Definitely. Dope. Well, we're gonna we're gonna close it out, man. I'm gonna play a couple of joints off the projects here and close out the show. Um, you know, this is home, man. I already got the, the, the tracks loaded on the station. You know, what I'm saying I, I think I got all the projects loaded. Every track, if it, if it got a skit on there, I think I even got that on there too. So, um, yeah, dope. That's and that, what I'm talking about. Yeah, man. Just just keep sending those records, bro. And um, like I said, if you got anybody on the team who looking to get get a platform, man, just send them my way, brother. We'll take care of them. No, one hundred. All Definitely. Right. All right, let's get into Slimy first, and then, uh, like I said, I'll go through some of this catalog, and we'll close out the show for the night, man. Will Sully in the building. Queens is in the building. Queens get the money. It's always good to talk to my fellow Queens people, man. We'll be right back. Hip-hop, hip-hop, hip-hop.